The US military has released footage of airstrikes on three separate sites. These are all operated by Iranian-backed militias along the Iraqi-Syrian border. US Central Command CENTCOM, published the videos on June 28, 2021, the same day the strikes were conducted. The reason for the strike was the growing arsenal of drones which have been used to launch attacks on bases in Iraq that host American personnel in recent months. All three of the sites struck by American warplanes were in the vicinity of the town of al bukamal in Syria and al qaim immediately opposite it on the Iraqi side of the border. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. has hit back at Iran. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. In January 2020, General Qasim Soleimani, who was the head of Iran's elite Quds Force, was killed in a U.S. drone strike. The precision strike by the American MQ-9 Reaper drone took out Soleimani along with several officials. The Quds Force is part of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Corps tasked with operations outside of the country, including supporting proxy groups such as militia organizations in Iraq. In recent times, Al-Assad Air Base and Erbil International Airport used by the U.S. have been targeted and are seen as acts of revenge. Iranian ballistic missiles were used for attacks on both the locations. But on the 26th of June, a drone was used to hit Erbil. Importantly, Popular Mobilization Forces PMF, which includes several Iranian-backed groups, held a major parade in Baghdad showcasing drones that seemed to be of Iranian origin on the same day. U.S. Marine Corps General Frank McKenzie, head of CENTCOM, has raised red flags. McKenzie told members of Congress at a hearing in April, These small and medium-sized UAS unmanned aircraft systems proliferating across the area of operations present a new and complex threat to our forces and those of our partners and allies. For the first time since the Korean War, we are operating without complete air superiority. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told reporters at a press conference in Rome, We took necessary, appropriate, deliberate action that's designed to limit the risk of escalation, but also to send a clear and unambiguous deterrent message. Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby said the targets were selected because these facilities are utilized by Iran-backed militias that are engaged in unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, attacks against U.S. personnel and facilities in Iraq. He added, as demonstrated by this evening's strikes, President Biden has been clear that he will act to protect U.S. personnel. Given the ongoing series of attacks by iran mac groups targeting U.S. interests in Iraq, the president directed further military action to disrupt and deter 
such attacks. The three sites that were hit were Al-Huri, Asisik, and Kasabat. CENTCOM said that the site at Al-Huri was a facility used by Iran-backed militia groups for logistical support and transfer of advanced conventional weapons, including unmanned aerial vehicles, while the one at Asisik was a facility used by Iran-backed militia groups as a coordination center for the shipment and transfer of advanced conventional weapons. The target in Kasabat was a facility used by Iran-backed militia groups for operations, planning, and storage of unmanned aerial vehicles. These were thought to have manned portable air defense systems man pads, as well as other kind of missiles and guided munitions and several other kinds of equipment. As per reports, U.S. Air Force F-15E Strike Eagle fighter jets conducted these strikes on targets in Syria, while the service's F-16 CM Viper fighters carried out the strikes on the facility in Iraq. Since the U.S. military does not currently have combat jets of any kind based in Iraq itself, it's likely that F-15E came from Jordan and F-16s that were deployed came from the United Arab Emirates or Saudi Arabia. Both these fighter jets are able to carry different types of precision ammunition, including smart bombs and long-range missiles. Since there's not much threat of advanced air defense, it's likely that smart bombs were utilized. Iran has put a lot of effort into drone tech, and its advancement in drone tech is well known. On the 19th of July, 2019, then U.S. President Donald Trump had said that the USS Boxer downed an Iranian drone. As per him, the drone came within 1,000 yards of the U.S. Navy ship and ignored multiple calls to stand down. The drone was taken down through the Marine Air Defense Integrated Systems, or MATIS, which uses several types of electronic warfare techniques, like radio frequencies jamming, to block the communication system of the drone. On September 14, 2019, the facilities of Saudi Arabia's oil company, Aramco, located in the east of the country, were hit with drones and missiles. As per Saudi Arabia, these were Iranian-manufactured or Iranian-supplied drones. The strike by the U.S. is designed to counter the increasing drone menace. It comes at a time when the U.S. and Iran seem to have a deadlock regarding restoration of Iran nuclear deal, and this will further vitiate the atmosphere. 